Install lowering blocks. Installing lowering blocks into your car depends highly on your preference. If you feel that you are comfortable having them, then, do so. Lowering blocks are positioned between the leaf spring and the axle of your car. They can readily prompt your car to ride lower. And here is good news. You can install them without using any of those specialized equipment. All you need to know is the necessary clearance level when you run your car and when you work out those speed bumps. Here are the steps on how you can efficiently install lowering blocks into your much valued vehicle, move your car into a suitable location. Park it where the surface is flat. The location should also be able to allow you to access the emergency brake. You need really need to account for safety. Bring out your jack. Position it right under your vehicle's frame. It should be close to the tire that you wish to lift up. Insert the jack handle directly to your jack. Operate it so you can start lifting up your vehicle's wheel. Stop when you have reached the ideal height off the ground. Get your jack stand situated below the frame of your car. Then, Slowly lower your jack until the frame of your car is properly rested on the jack stand. Look for your wheel's lug nuts. Undo them using a star wrench. After that, begin pulling out the wheel and then, the tire. Bring out your socket set. Use the set in unscrewing the U-bolts. They are connected on the leaf springs. Realize that the U-bolts are the ones responsible in holding or fastening the axle directly to the leaf springs. Once you have undone the U-bolts, you are going to see a space. That's in between your car's axle and of course, the leaf springs. Slowly position the lowering blocks. Slide them right through the space that you have created when you unscrewed the U-bolts. If you want more details, you can refer to the instruction manual included in the lowering blocks. The U-bolts that you have taken out are going to be replaced with longer ones. Observe that after you have positioned the lowering blocks, longer U-bolts become necessary. Reinstall the wheel and the tire that you have taken out earlier. And then, prepare to lower your vehicle. Follow similar steps when you work out on the other wheels of your vehicle. You are certainly going to enjoy your car better after you have installed the lowering backs. The steps that have been enumerated about can benefit a number of car models, including but not limited to, many trucks. Good examples are Nissan Hardbody, Toyota Tacoma, and S10. Of course, there are other ways that you can try. Note. However, 
that the steps mentioned here are undoubted the cheapest and the easiest to follow if you wish to install those lowering blocks. As a safety measure, see to it that no tension is caused or created on the emergency brake cables or brake lines during the installation process.